I feel your pain because I was going through the whole process with you, but how did it feel being rejected? I mean, when we came here and I said that afternoon that I would love to adopt him, I didn't know what a can of worms I was going to open. Um, and it led to us abandoning our hopes for adopting him because the last person who was being thought about was Lev and his brother Artemis. Um, they were like pawns in a political game which involved us two um, and, and the governments and the adoption laws in Ukraine um, and, and the last people to be thought of were the children and that was so bad. Um, so now they are out of the orphanage. Um, we're very happy about that. But um, we sat down two Christmases ago and said, we have to give up our plans to adopt these children because it's going to take at least two and a half years to do this. And at the end of those two and a half years, we have no guarantee that we will be able to adopt them. Yeah. Um, and so that's another two and a half years that they have to stay in the orphanage. You know, every child needs nurturing. Um, and when orphanages are full of children that aren't being picked up and held and being given attention and love uh, all the time, they don't develop as well. It's, it's, I've spoken with psychologists about it. A child who's been in an orphanage for more than three years ends up being almost irreparably psychologically damaged because they've never had this. They've never been held in a regular basis and made to feel that, that bond that you feel with your own child. And we've seen our, our little son who's just brilliant and so bright and happy. Um, and we're just showing him all the love we possibly can and he's responding to that. And you think of how well Zachary responds to love and affection and you think of all those children that don't get that. It breaks your heart. It makes you angry. 